Hey you, so I want to do this video on my current buying strategy and just touch on an answer for a few individuals that have asked me some questions about selling my pieces and how I go about doing that. So I'm just going to break into this and I'll display this 2009 20th anniversary Kukumara gold set in the background as I do that. So on this set here, as mentioned before in the past, this was the only way you could ever get the kookaburra coins in sync with the silver kookaburra coins in gold so it's one of the early times that they had done the kookaburra coins in gold that mirror the um, silver kookaburra coins up to the 2009 so we'll just break into these so currently my current buying strategy moving forward and just for where we are right now is that i'm not actually picking up too much at the moment now that's not because i intended for that it's just how the scenes worked out currently so looking at what's about there's nothing of that much interest for me so i've been asked what kind of coins i personally like to pick up and which coins i'm picking up so it's going to be the usual suspects as we all know not all coins are equal and some coins going to do better a lot better or just stagnate so for me i'll go by mint that i'm currently picking up and we all know it's the perf mint straight off the bat that i'm always going to be picking up and within the perf mint i go for their kookaburra coins their lunar coins the one that's currently joined the roster is the swan coins now i understand they have more coins you've got the koalas i personally don't go for the koalas because they wasn't of that much interest for me personally just my own personal preference here they had the unlimited mintage now they've got the limited mintage and just more of the earlier years going to do a lot better just looking at the sales histories of them and just the mintages of them currently they're not too appealing to me the kookaburras or the kangaroos as well so with with that and the perf mint in mind i currently pick up the kookaburra coins they're of high interest to me and the lunar coins now talking on those two coins i don't currently own none of the bullion 2017 kookaburra coins i do have the kookaburra in the two coin set that i've displayed before now that's the only pieces of the current 27 kookaburra that i do own so um it's not that i dislike the coin i just don't think it's one of the strongest and i may not i may just leave it at that i may not pick up any at the moment and with the current lunar offering i have the current rooster only in the proof free coins that i believe i picked up this year so far so it's just like with the kookaburra coin uh, i'm into the series but i've mentioned in the past i don't essentially pick up every single motif in all sizes i mainly go for ones i believe are going to be stronger or can offer some type of benefit to me like the, at a very late stage i picked up on the two ounce monkeys and i went for those because of the mintage scenario with those so with the roosters i don't currently own none i don't think i own any if we get a massive dip i may load up on a few of the two ounces or something like that but currently as it stands i'm not picking up none of those now i'm taking that standpoint because i have more than enough collector coins already and I'm, I'll break into what I intend to do with those. So I'm just reserving the funds and really doing a lot more cherry picking. So that's currently from the perf mint of the coins that I'm currently interested in and picking up. So it's going to be the kookaburras and the lunar coins. Lunar's top priority, then it'll be kookaburra second. We have the swans and I'm constantly looking out for new releases that they randomly drop like the dragon phoenix coins and the swan coins so the swans have been added to the new hot list on the perf mint of coins that i'll be looking out for and definitely looking to pick up as they're released so that's from the perf mint so i'm constantly just keeping a lookout for anything they come up with at, at the moment i'm not aware of anything but i've just got my eyes peeled hopefully they don't bring anything out because it's a lot easier on my pocket so then when we're looking at the royal mint another mint that i do associate and pick up with we're looking at the in bullion we're looking at the queen's beast coins that i'm involved in i do like them i will continue to pick up the two ounce silver bullion um on dips preferably because they are a coin i think it's going to be a fantastic set when finished um when it comes to the proof coins on those i've decided to just a recent when i picked up the unicorn to go ahead and look to complete a quarter ounce gold set so with the Royal Mint, I'm going to be picking I'm going to be on with the Beast. I may swerve the larger sizes, just, just for personal preference. I think they are stunning. I like what they've done. They've gone with the larger sizes in proof and in bullion, but it may be sizes I swerve, and I'll break into why I'm going to be a little more picky 
in a moment when I get to my next plan on what I'm currently doing. So that from the Royal Mint at the time of release in this video, there is a couple of releases that the Royal Mint will be coming out soon that I'm going to be looking out for. So I'm going to be looking out for their coin set and I believe it was Dave Scottish Stacker that brought to my attention the 2017 anniversary sovereign they may be bringing out a pa for of that so i'm going to be looking out for those two if the price is right those are two offerings from the royal mint i'll definitely want to jump on board with but other than that they don't have nothing in their current roster it'll be interesting to me so that's from the perf mint i'm sorry the royal mint now looking at a mint outside of my usual comfort zone we have the maya mint that does the rwanda luna series now this is a coin that I've recently decided to jump on board with and follow it through to 2029, I believe, when they're going to end. What made me jump on with those is that I think I, I saw it, I liked it, I liked what it done with the gold, the silver proofs, and the bullion coins, and I thought it had a lot of potential. And especially if they've done fairly successful with their current wildlife series, so I've jumped on board with them. That's another coin series that I'm on board with for the long haul all the way. So with within any one of these that I've mentioned, I could go on to pick up. Um, coins in quantity should they bring out a design I really like or I can see some type of a gain in the long run so that's a another coin that I'm currently interested in and picking up so when something comes out from one of these or one of the coins that I've mentioned it's something that I'll be locking on with now I've had a few questions regarding quite a few of the other releases that come out just a whole range of them I mean any other week we've got a new coin out I think they are nice coins. I, I do I do like all the coins, but currently for me, I won't be picking none of them up. Um, if you're an individual picking these coins up in quantities of one to two, I mean, there's absolutely no harm whatsoever. If you're an individual picking these coins up and then considering or wondering whether they're going to do great things, I'll say, as we all know, not all coins go on to do great things. Some hold their price and appreciate real slowly. Some can go on to dip, or, and some, as many have mentioned, you can go on to find in the bargain bucket. So with these coins, they're a lot more hit and miss, but they need to be out there just to keep things buzzing and keep people interested in the game. But for myself, I'm now at a stage where I don't think they're all gimmicks, but I just need to really see a lot more, and especially with the guys themselves minting them. I mean, we have that... Chidua coin, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I think they're nice coins, but in, I'm on the fence with them. I'm, I'm, I mean, I didn't get in on 2016. I'm not going to be going back to try and pick them up for any larger prices. The current 2017s are out and I've seen them. I do think they are nice coins, but as I've mentioned, I'm on the fence. Unless I can, unless they drop in price, which they don't seem to be doing anytime soon. I'm more than happy to watch others go on and make fantastic gains while I stay over here. So it's a nice coin, but Currently, I'm on the fence. I have no intentions of going on to pick it up. But as I've said, if you're a collector and you like picking up coins and ones and twos and each and all of these coins, I don't think they'll go on to be as successful. I think a lot of the mints and the coins lack the qualities needed. And it, it's getting more than just a low mintage because a lot of mints and people that produce these coins know now a slap a low mintage on it, it should do great. But that's not necessarily the case. There's a few more other qualities needed for a coin to go on to do well. So I'm just being a lot, lot more fussy. And especially with the silver proofs from Problem Mints, I'm being a lot more fussy there. For instance, I personally won't go on to pick up any um, Royal Mint silver proofs anytime soon. It's, I mean, <laughs> I've mentioned the other day, there's no point crying over spilt milk. And especially when you're regarding milk spots. So we're, we're talking milk spots and you can't see them, you need a magnifier, and we're talking little spreckles, I can go on to fob that off, but when you're dealing with certain milk spots that can go on, you can see them by the eye, and they're literally an eyesore. It's a real risk you're taking, and I'm looking to slab a few coins, as I've mentioned before, getting into the sham of slabbing. I mean, we all know if it works in your favor, then hey, and if it doesn't, then ho, oh. so. But with a lot of the silver coins, I'm being a lot more fussy, as I know that that can be a massive problem and go on to maybe really milk up at a later date so from the problem mints i'm just staying away of their silver proofs because slabbing is now definitely an option i'm looking at moving forward so those are the current coins that i'm picking up my current strategy is just i want to focus on my foundation currently the spot time of release in the video it's, it's doing the whole yo-yo act it was down a little couple of days ago it's now gone up a little so I'm just really picking my time 
um, while there's no other coins out there looking to drain the wallet, I can really just kick back and just wait for Spot to dip a little and then maybe go in and pounce and pick up some more ounces, uh, either the current 2017 anniversary coins. We've got the Big Ben landmarks of Britain coins. I'm hoping to pick those up on a dip. A few of the dealers have kept them at a certain price, but I think if I just hold out, they'll drop down to a nice price. And then I'll just work on that. So what I'm currently doing also, because I've got a lot of collectors, semi-numismatic, numismatic coins, I'm looking at ways of maximizing them. And as I've mentioned, I've looked into grading some of these coins. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm down with the sham. Hopefully it'll work in my favor and just trying to get a few 70s in some of the coins that I've got. I've sent a batch in for grade and I will do a video when I get them back in. I think currently, especially with the coins that I have in quantity, getting a couple of them slammed. I mean, I've seen them to go on to sell for double and triple easily, especially if they have a 70 attached to them. And that's what I'm currently focusing on. Just trying to get the coins that I currently have, especially in quantity, take a small portion of them, get them graded go on to sell them and then use those funds to purchase more foundation. So I'm just having the whole stack work within itself at the moment. I'm not doing no aggressive buying. I'm working on the foundation and trying to get that up while we don't have no current big releases. I mean, at any moment now, the Royal Mint can drop something and depending on this gold and silver, it can really hurt the pocket. But other than that, and other than if the Perth Mint drops something, that's my current strategy at the moment. So just working on the coins that I have getting them slabbed up so I can fully capitalize on those and then go on to sell those and then use the profits and the funds from that to purchase some more foundation coins. As with the Kookaburras and the Lunar coins, I haven't picked those up in quantity. I won't be going to pick those up in quantity. So that's fantastic on my pocket. So it leaves more for the foundation. As I've mentioned, I, I pick up the foundation a set amount every month. I haven't picked nothing up for uh, a little close to five weeks now so I'm just watching what spots doing and then I'll time my buy so it's a slab in what I've got already to fully capitalize and those are the coins that I'm currently interested in so that's my current strategy picking up at the moment um, there was a question but I'll get on to that in another video I think this one's gone on long enough so hey all love it it'd be fantastic to hear what everybody else's current strategy is whether you're picking up you're holding you're waiting for spot I mean like everybody knows and we've seen in my collection I have a lot of collector coins out there so I'm really being picky there isn't that much to pick out from I mean there's a lot of collector coins but as we all know a lot go on to really bomb so you have to be real picky especially if you want your coins to go on and do great things so I'm very content with the coins that I have I'm not trying to add more and more and more to it instead I'm just trying to really strengthen the ones that I have and go on to pick up more so just waiting for more releases to come out so fantastic to hear what everybody else's current buying strategy is as we know it's constantly evolving and changing and I'll keep everybody up to date as it does that so go ahead let me know what you think of it hate or love it go ahead and subscribe if you ain't done so already and I'll catch you guys on the rebound